Okay. Eindelijk. Maar ja, jammer genoeg eindelijk. Finally. The closing talk, but way too soon, as always. Can we extend? <laughs> I come to that later. I come to that later. It's a very good question in the beginning. When organizing an event like this, and it's already closing time, only one word comes to mind. Tired. <laughs> I've had uh, eight hours sleep since Friday. I, I use a CPAP machine, so I have uh, very cool stats. So I slept three hours and 38 minutes. And yesterday I slept three hours and 10 minutes. And am I tired? No, because this event gave, and you guys and all the sponsors, they gave me so much energy. It's, it's awesome. Everybody that's leaving is like, yeah, yeah, see you next year. So that really, really gives me big, energy and lots of energy to yeah to keep organizing events like this so thank you for that it's really really been amazing i will continue my talk but first we have some uh, some service announcements by our sponsor nfar and tesorion so nfar will come on the stage first and they will do the um the prize ceremony for their awesome nfir ctf 2023 and after that, the Sorium will come on stage for the placemat challenge. There were placemats, and if you were a real hacker, you looked on the other side, and there were puzzles you could solve, and you can win a, you can win an awesome prize with that. So, um, I first like to call forward Dennis of NFIR. So, <laughs> and Rice. So give it up for Dennis and Rice. We will swap the laptops over for a moment. So just bear with me, and then yep. have this. Does it already work? <laughs> yeah. Yes. Cool. Okay, guys. Thanks for being here so late. I thought a lot of people were at home already, but uh, I'm surprised. How many people are still here? Um, well, the capture the flag. Mr. CTF chef. <laughs> right. So I've heard. Um, all right, first, a couple of nice stats. We had uh, 129 people register for the CTF. So that's a lot, considering the number of people that are here. Um, over a total of 61 teams. So that's also a lot of teams, also a lot of lone wolves, but also a lot of uh, really competitive teams of uh, uh, exactly five people or less. Uh, in every case, no exceptions. Maybe. Uh, <laughs> you could have uh, eventually scored 6,294 points. And that's a weird number because we do weird math with the points. But that's the number we ended up at. Um, there was a total of 271 right flags, so 271 challenges solved in two days. That's uh, also a lot, but also 387 people who submitted wrong answers, so shame on you for submitting wrong answers. <laughs> or we built the challenge wrong and you... No, <laughs> no it, it, was, it was definitely not our fault. Uh, <laughs> The challenge that was solved the most was ransomware alert, one of our forensic challenges. So good job everyone who did that, but especially good job to the single team that solved angry robot noises that had exactly one solve. And then there were uh, a few other challenges which were also apparently really hard, including the word puzzle, the auto puzzle, hoodie, and uh, a few crypto challenges. <laughs> and uh, that's... Uh, our CTF in a couple of stats. So now the prizes. Yeah. As you probably saw, we had three prizes for winning teams or individuals, depending on who won. Um, and a third prize. This team solved 16 challenges, had two members, 4,016 points. We own you.
Ah, uh -huh. great, man. Really cool, really cool. Um, yeah, you get five vouchers because that's the way we do it. <laughs> uh, and we have spares for some reason. Can I take them too? Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah, you can try. But. For everybody who is winning prizes, please come over to the bar after the closing ceremony because we, then we can register your name and really hand over your prizes. Good job. I went to sleep at 4 or 5 in the morning today. I solved what the last triple challenge. It was quite tough, but I managed it then. Wow, cool. Thanks. You're welcome. Very nice challenges. Thank you. Then the second prize. The team solved 18 challenges, four members, and 4,604 points. Little po ponies. <laughs> ah! Congratulations. Your official five vouchers. <laughs> Where are the other team members? Uh, Sleeping already? Uh, probably. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Okay. Very good. Thank you. And then the first prize. It was quite a close call. 22 challenges, four mem members, 5,697 points. Explain text. <laughs> Congratulations. Hey, it is like. Congratulations. Congratulations. Oh, wacht even. Die twee daar, die hebben ook meegedaan, die durf je niet naar boven te lopen. Ah. <laughs> ah. <laughs> hey, cool. Gefeliciteerd. Hey, Danny. <laughs> well, guys, anything to say except accepting the vouchers, or? Uh, yeah, we would like to donate. Uh, we would like to ask you to donate the vouchers to uh, Giro. Five five. Oh, that's really cool. Thanks. Yeah, uh, I have something to say. I had a lot of fun. Uh, uh, the PowerPoint challenges <laughs> sucked. <laughs> <laughs> okay. We all love PowerPoint. <laughs> okay, once again, please uh, come over to the bar for the first and the second prize in order to register yourself for the prizes. Thank you Thanks, much. guys. Thank and last but not least, I would like to give a big warm of applause to my, uh, my colleagues, the ethical hackers and the digital forensic team who made this amazing uh, CTF possible in the last three months. And uh, especially for Rice, Mr. CTF chef. <laughs> <laughs> and of course, Dimitri for uh, making this possible for us. And hope to see you next year. It's really cool. That was it. Then uh, now we continue with a prize ceremony of Tesorion. As you all saw the placemats and your breakfast plates. You could order, you can uh, solve some puzzles and they went from easy to hard. And uh, Brian of uh, Tesorion will talk a little about it. I will turn on the second mic. And Brian will explain who won, and what, and how many, and... So please give it up for Brian of the Sorion. Thank you. Um, I'm actually just going to keep it uh, quite uh, short, to be honest. Um, sorry. Is, it, is this better? Thank you. Even closer, all right. Um, so, um, first of all, I would like to say thank you. It was an absolute honor to be here as a sponsor again this year. Um, we've really enjoyed all the merriment, the fantastic talks, and all the other initiatives that have taken place over the last three years. Uh, sorry, days. Um, it felt like three years. That's how little sleep I've had. Um, this year we did the puzzle placemat, uh, which uh, was mostly credit of Boss, who you just saw in second place for the NFAR uh, CTF. Um, and based on the approximately 
20 responses we got, most of the questions were fairly easy, with the exception of 2B, which stumped most people, um, which was because the answer for that question wasn't actually on the placemat, but was hidden in plain sight as a chameleon within the hotel, one of our posters, which had the cipher you needed to solve that challenge. In total, we had yeah, three people who um, solved it, of which one was by far the fastest. Um, and uh, based on that, I would like to give that person the 3D printer we have uh, here. Um, and I don't have a real name, but I do have an acronym, BS. And I've done two-factor authentication, so I already know who it is. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Wow. Okay, so BS wins the uh, Ender free version 2 3D printer. So, uh, yeah, thank you so much to Sorion for this great prize on your and your awesome placement challenge. Thank you. So. I would have to check. I don't actually know. That's a good question. We, we, um, we know that was a potential issue, and we kept track of that, but the difference between solve times was so high that it didn't really matter. Um, but um, I don't have the exact time here right now, but it was yesterday um, um, around uh, half past 11 in the evening. And the second one came in uh, about 10 hours later. Okay, so we will, he won by a landslide. <laughs> okay, great. Excellent. Thank you so much. Thank you. And these are really awesome examples uh, of sponsors working together. Uh, NFAR with the CTF, Tesorium with their placement challenge, and also the guys from Red Team Cybersecurity uh, that did the awesome, awesome, awesome whiskey tasting last night. Smoked uh, cheese, uh, <laughs> cured, cured meat, and it's really, really cool. So uh, if you work for a company and you would like to help us in the future, you're always welcome, and, uh, and it's not only big companies. If you are uh, um, working for yourself or have a small company or you want to contribute in any way, thank you so much. So that's really awesome, and it's a great example of how we work together and keep it really informal. So again, some house rules again. <laughs> leave your uh, bedding in the hallway if you leave. You don't have to leave before 7, so you can stay in there. But uh, all the bedding in the bungalows, please put it in the hallway, 7 p.m. Please don't forget your keys. Every year I get uh, phone calls of people in distress forgetting their keys. <laughs> so drop them at the reception and please say your bungalow number. That helps them. And then, uh, then they know you're gone. So thank you for that already, if you want to uh, follow those lines. I have an uh, update on the clothing. Lots of people requested more clothing. We did an extra round. It was uh, also sold out within 55 minutes. <laughs> Actually, people were still asleep and then they were already sold out. Uh, again, people had uh, issues uh, being in time and other people were like, oh, and then I order and then they lost their opportunity. Um, next time we will do that differently. That's, uh, that's good feedback for me. Uh, the, the clothing supplier, Eigen Label Frank, he said, oh man, you could uh, sold double, and I think he's right. So next year we will start earlier, and we'll design some awesome hoodie again. We have already great ideas, and uh, Eigen Label uh, really helps us putting those crazy ideas and turn them into reality. So uh, I will work and do my best to create an awesome hoodie, so you can either trust me and buy it in advance, or you think I screw it up and wait and then miss out, maybe. But that's up to you. Um, but I will promise you that we were going to work on something awesome. And yeah, we will have them in the shop. And 
We make sure they are here in time and everybody that wants one can get them. So that's what I learned from this experience. And uh, yeah, probably some fake hacker hotel merchandise might pop up. That would be really crediting to my work, but some events, uh, the hoodies, the extra 50 ones will be made, but they're made in Turkey. We all know the situation there. So please bear with me. I'm not sure how the company is affected or the suppliers over there. So I think there are more important things there now than your hoodies, to be honest. But I will make sure you get them. But please, um, if it takes a little longer, I hope you do all understand why. Then, thanking all the sponsors. Again, as I said in, my in the opening talk, without them, an event like this is not possible. Uh, your lunches are paid by them. Um, all the the badge is paid by them. All the extras we have, the goodies, the, all the stuff that they give and help to make the event better is really, really awesome. And yeah, again, I'd like to thank Ronald and his team, Access42, for sponsoring us. It was uh, really, really great this year. And I hope, uh, and I can already announce that he will be the main sponsor for next year again. Thank you, Access42. Guardian 360, of course, thank you for the support in the past and still being on board for this edition. Really, really awesome. <laughs> Platinum Plus sponsor, CTF, all the school prizes. You saw how big those numbers were and, and how much time they put into it. And really, really awesome. So next to sponsoring, also doing a CTF, that was really crazy. Thanks, uh, NFAR, for doing this. <laughs> the Sorion. Yeah, great challenge, G handing out a 3D printer, solving puzzles, really great. So thank you so much for your support. <laughs> this is the Gold Plus sponsor, Yaito. Um, new company, founded by Ian Halma and Frank Spijkerman. And they listened in on the Angry Nerds podcast, number 132, if you want to listen it back, what goes into organizing an event like this. And during that um, radio show with Angry Nerds, so it's Angry Nerds um, edition 132. I just dropped um, that uh, I would like to use pre-talks. Maybe use it for MCH. Other big conferences use it. I was always like, whoa, that looks much better than my HTML columns. So um, I just said that I would like to do it. I went home. I was home like one o'clock or something. Went to bed and seven in the morning, I got a message from Frank saying, oh, I can fix that for you. So I was like, okay, but yeah, just before the event, you know, is it smart to change stuff? It looks really cool, but yeah, you know, if something goes wrong. And he convinced me to do it. Friday afternoon, it was running. Then he talked to Mark Fubar, who runs my site. And they worked together in the evening. It was already implemented. And on Saturday during the batch workshop, he said, oh, I'll show you how to use it. And then all the talks were there. And it's an awesome system. We can use the Giggity app. So uh, that was really awesome as well. So if you don't have it, you can install it and you can see the program. And uh, yeah, I'm really in great debt to uh, Frank Spijkerman of Yaito for helping me last moment and making sure the site looks really awesome. So thank you for that. <laughs> I already mentioned them, but I do it again. Red Team Cybersecurity for their awesome, awesome uh, whiskey tasting and then Zero Copter and especially Chantal and Edwin for always having my back and he helping me doing this and making it great. And also Edwin, great. So thank you for the big donations you did in the hardware hacking area. I hope you all find the box that with, uh, with this great hardware. So thanks, Serocopter and the Red Team Service Security. <laughs> Nico was really awesome. It was, I was flabbergasted. I invited him for a talk. I wanted to have him here talk about OSINT for a long time. I think it's uh, now more important than ever with all the Russian fake news stuff happening in Ukraine. And then him coming in and then saying, hey, you know what? I want to sponsor your event as well. It's like, no, 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 you're a speaker. You're, I, I invite you, you know, I'm so happy that you're here. And then still also sponsoring. It's like, it blew my mind. And I'm really grateful to, uh, to Nico being here. Did this awesome workshop. And for all the people here attending Hacker Hotel, we will have a PDF with instructions how to use his uh, 
uh, AI and ML um, video analysis tool, which was which was crazy stuff. It, we really should see it. Uh, the talk isn't being recorded, but he will hand out some uh, information about that. So really big hands up for Nico, the ocean guy. <laughs> then Secura having an external speaker in, Tom Tevoort, talking about IBM WebSphere and having their uh, industrial box. I hope you all saw it in the hack room um, where you can have a go at their uh, installations. It was really fun working with Ralph and Jacqueline. So thank you so much, Sakura, for also uh, being our sponsor. <laughs> and last but not least on this slide, uh, Dark Trace, uh, formerly known as Cybersprint, the people that always sponsored the red and black cans. The logo changed, so I was like, oh, maybe CC or something orange. Uh, I don't know, but uh, I'm really glad to have them still aboard, uh, the company of Peter Janssen. Um, so yeah, give it up for Dark Trace. These are the examples of people that actually attend the event, have a company or work for a company and say, we want to sponsor you. So next we'll do an amazing talk like Eelco Maljaars on, uh, on the Mastodon server. He also sponsoring. And then Jan Los of Cyberbaas, really awesome name by the way, Cyberbaas. <laughs> and he is a Cyberbaas. So uh, that was also, also, also very cool. And then my friend, uh, Mr. Admiral, <laughs> Working for Orange IT, having the nice cool fan. I hope you all saw it. Electric ID bus fan in front of the hotel. Really amazing. He just works there and comes here and then convinces his boss to say, this is so awesome. You have to give him money and then we can do awesome stuff for you guys. So give it up for these three awesome sponsors. <laughs> Orange IT, Cyberbass and Lutra. <laughs> and the list keeps going on, but I really want to mention them all. You saw it. You might have seen the talk of Elger, Internet Cleanup Foundation, really awesome, and they do great work. Misha of OpenBSD, um, having sponsored some prizes for the pub quiz, doing great stuff, and is always there with Aldit together to catch my back during a nice chicken dinner or whatever, and having yeah good feedback. These are the guys that organized uh, Har in 2009, so I can learn a lot from those, those guys. So I'm really grateful for them. And then another big example, my friend Roy starting his company, Connect IT, and they say, oh yeah, yeah, I want to sponsor you. Always helping out, always is busy with the AV stuff and whatever question I have, he's always there. So I really, really appreciate you, Roy. And so please give it up for Elger, Roy, and Misha as well. <laughs> and then there's people that are actually always in the background but I really want to mention them because they're always there when it's about batch sponsoring or giving electronics advice or helping the team out. He did so in the past with, with soldering irons or extra equipment the batch team needed. So that's uh, Michael Stegen from Stegen Electronics. <laughs> and also our main sponsor. And they separately sponsored also the batch. So that's when we said, okay, then you can also have the key cord. You're the main sponsor. That was a coincidence, but it's really awesome. So again, thanks to Ronald and his team. Uh, really, really cool. <laughs> then really proud of uh, Ayan and his team. Ayan is a member of our hackerspace Bitler, but he's also one of the two or three founding members of Event Infra, together with Wilco. They always do the event stuff during CCC, during MCH, they always connect up high gigabit connections so you can have fun in a camp, you know, camp field, 200 gigabits to a field, it's insane. These guys just walk around and when people complain, oh, my Wi-Fi is a bit wacky here, they just ran out and give you an access point to hang in your hotel room. The hotel always tells me, well, you guys are here, the Wi-Fi is better than when you're gone. So that's uh, saying something, so give it up for Event Infra, these, <laughs> these are what they're talking about. And then last but certain, certain, certainly not least, because if they weren't here, you wouldn't see me, you wouldn't hear me, you wouldn't see me at home, you wouldn't see the recordings afterwards to show to your colleagues. Please give it up for Foxit of Steven Geerts. <laughs> Amazing setup, how they do it with all the lights, all the stuff they bring in. I'm still amazed every time and I'm glad that they are here to support us with the event. 
So some network stats, this come from the, uh, from the dashboard, it's always running during our events. You can uh, see here the number of connections, the, the number of traffic, so there's a, you can see here great amounts of traffic. The hotel has now a, a one gigabit internet connection and these guys manage to have all the streams going out and you guys all be able to download stuff or watch movies or whatever you want to do. That's really nice. Um, yeah, you can see the ping is three milliseconds, which I think is really cool. We have transferred a lot of traffic, as you can see, 1.1 terabyte. So yeah, I'm really glad. And you can see the network is really rocking. And thanks again, Event Infra and Ion, for doing this. Post. Oh, Kaas Post. <laughs> Hello. Do I read it? You can. Okay. Oh these, are, oh, these are nice. So next to the sheets, I have an extra slide here, <laughs> which is from the cast post. Konma is here with her friends and doing cast post. I received the request if we wanted cast post uh, really late, actually, in uh, before organizing it, just a few weeks ago. And I knew it was, it was there and it existed. But actually, during one of the other events where I just tried it and it really works, you can just... Say, I think I have the card here. I told someone, if you write bold, small, fat guy, organizing Hacker Hotel, it will reach me. <laughs> <laughs> and the card is here, so my proof is there. <laughs> it just works, it's amazing. There's actually someone, I think, only wrote two names. Um, are we still looking for them? Mm. There's two names, can I name the names or not? Okay. Okay. So the person wrote some Chinese message. I'm not. I can't read it. But there was a card with a Chinese message to address to two persons in Berlin. If you were the one sending that, please contact. We will make sure it gets there. But we need a little help. But that's really cool. So Casbos, you can just write something on it, and they just drop it to the people at the conference. And I hope that they will be back next time again because I really liked it. And we have some uh, closing statistics which is really cool, on their cards. They have these awesome cards, and you can always uh, donate them to them, because yeah, these cards they cost money to make, and I like the idea, it's, it's totally crazy, and it fits the event. So, in total, there were 48 postcards that were sent to the outside world, into nine different countries. And they were internally sent, there were 126 internal postcards, of eight to other revenge, which will be delivered at the speed of chaos. <laughs> <laughs> and then they thank me for the amazing event, but I want to return the favor because thank you for being here and making the event extra awesome. So please, everyone, give it up for Chaos Post. <laughs> thank you. Thank you so much. Then the Club Martin. That's really special. As I said yesterday, we ran through 30 crates of made Club Mate in one day. Um, we order with our hackerspace bit layer and we thought like, oh, we bring half of it here. Well, there was another run. But the, uh, yeah, you say the demographics of Mate drinkers is different on Hacker Hotel than in our space. In our space, it's mostly Flora and Granat, the red Mate. And here, everybody wants zero. I wonder why is that? And normal Mate. So there was a big difference, and we had like lots of red left, but no normal Mate. Next year I will try to do that better, so that's also good feedback. But there's still Mate, uh, so we didn't run out, but maybe your favorite uh, flavor was, uh, was gone. But we had 24 crates of Mate uh, in 2020. Actually, we had 30, but I left with six, so we used up uh, 24. And now... <laughs> okay. So there are some people that really, really <laughs> drink this stuff. So that was really cool. And it's now all gone, I hear. I thought I saw some bottles, but okay. So you did well. And next year I will make sure there's more Mate and also in different quantities and whatever. But we will make it work. And thanks for your great feedback to improve also there already during the event. Thank you so much. Okay, the other events, I mentioned them in my opening talk. I just want to quickly tip them. Campzone, which is now in, uh, in Zoetermeer, 
they have a hack zone area, so you can you have don't have to play games to go there. You, there's an awesome hack area, and there's very nice people. Some of them are here, so you will meet them. So please, uh, if you want to do co camping in the Netherlands and hacking, it's nice. You can bring also kids, I think. But uh, yeah, go there. Bornek, the people sadly already had to leave for their flight, uh, bringing bearded Bart Bort from Belgium. Really nice. They brought some beer gags on the plane to import Belgian beer. Really awesome. Um, but there are such nice people, and they, yeah, their event is, yeah, as I said in my opening talk, you just come in and then. There is a bar, and in the end, it's all finished, and it's basically a work in progress during the camp. Nobody is hurrying, everyone is relaxed, and it's a great atmosphere. And I can really, really recommend going there. It's uh, in August, and uh, yeah, I really love it. And then, of course, the big, well, if not the biggest camp, CCC in Germany. And now, um, as I said, I had already great help of Chantal and Mendel before but also a lot of people were already on friday people came in early and all voluntarily said okay we're going to help you out tell us what we have to do there's like 250 of these black chairs in this room we needed 400 so they dragged all the chairs up on the carts these heavy chairs 80 of them were on the other side they were drug here the tables that are on the other side they were here so they were drugged there so please it, when we finish up, and we're not done yet, I would really, really like to, I was hoping if 80 people could lift the black chair and bring it to the other side, to the hack room. That would be amazing. That will save these guys three to four hours of work going in the elevator, dropping 10 chairs by time and walking them all over. And I think if we use the power of hackers, the power of our community, and if you can, they are a bit heavy, so I'm not Please don't feel forced to do it, but if you can lift a chair and you can walk it to the hack room, that would be amazing. So again, thanks to all sponsors. Thanks for, after my second <laughs> request, not making it really any worse. We'll have to see later on how much we have to remove. Some people are already helping out. Thanks for that. And the batch team, of course. I mean, look at the work and some people came to me after the bad talk and they really didn't realize how much work went into this, what story is behind it, how much these crazy creative minds do. So also the batch team, thanks again. Really, really awesome. The network team, I mentioned them, they do a great job. Keep the stuff running. The hotel and staff, they really, really have worked extremely hard. They, they made special dinners for people that have food allergies. They try to fix everything we was broken quickly as possible um, we did a new approach last time in 2020 i sent them a list these people are coming and you guys you have to make up your mind because then you're bringing a friend and then you're not and then you bring five new friends and you need a bigger bungalow and a smaller bungalow and i kept sending them updates and we just checked it yesterday and I started with version one, and in the end, before the event started, we had 46 versions of the list, and it was changing around b rooms to the bungalows, bungalows to split up into rooms. And yes, I do that sometimes myself as well to help you guys and accommodate you and your group of friends to, to oh, you had a room. Well, you now have a bungalow, you can invite more people. So, and this hotel was flexible enough. This time we went a little different. I just sent them a list, they made a bill, I paid the bill, and then we had one document and we kept on scratching that, so I had to pay a lot of extra money for all the extras, but it is really easy and makes work so much nicer. So I really want to express my thanks to the hotel and staff, and especially the general manager, Daniela, and Lisanne, who is the, reception, the lady at the reception desk, coordinating everything with her colleagues. So I hope you all have the same good experience, and I really would like to uh, have a big hand for the hotel. Then there is this. This is the QR code, and it's really, it was stickered all over the place, and everybody's like, I'm a hacker, I'm not scanning that. It's probably a rig roll, even when it says it's not. But this is the code to the Mastodon server, and as some people, at least two of you, missed out that we had Hacker Hotel this weekend, and came in on a Saturday to have at least some enjoyment of your ticket, 
I'm looking for ways to keep connected. So if you want to be connected, this is the new Mastodon server that was kindly sponsored by Ilko Mayas of Lutra IT. <laughs> he had a talk about it, so you can, if you missed that, you can see it in the streams, you can look it back when you're home. But this, yeah, then we might have their, our own Mastodon server. I'm really proud. I have to learn a lot about it, so bear with me, but please join us. You can scan this QR code and then you can also uh, yeah, find us there and we will post regularly updates, especially after the event. So then we can keep in touch. I also spoke to uh, Lisette Mai today, who is my legal advisor. No, no, she, she is a legal advisor. Or an, um, GDPR. GDPR specialist. And I asked, okay, can I send everybody that ordered a ticket? Can I send them an email? And some of you said, yeah, yeah, do that because I don't want to miss out. But officially that wasn't really allowed or there were some obstacles. She will help me out, but I will get to you as I um, decided I want to keep connected, and stay connected with you guys. And the easiest way for that is that I just will offer you all, the people that are present here on the event, I will offer you all a first chance of buying a ticket for next year. That will mean that, of course, I will get some flack of people that can't make it. And maybe some of you were like, okay, I really loved it, I saw it, and I'm gone. Some sort of uh, Feeny Fidi uh, fuck off or something. <laughs> it would be nice. I saw it, I came and saw it, and I fucked off. But I hope I see everyone next year here again. Um, so you guys will receive some sort of link or I think about it, how to do it before the official shop opens. That will mean, like last year, that the web shop opens with probably one or two rooms and one bungalow. So <laughs> I'm not sure who's going to get those, but it will be a blood, massive, bloody massacre. So probably in the next two weeks, I will send out this link. Um, and I, um, I know that not everyone is like bulking with money. Some people had to save up to be here, which I really, really appreciate. So just place your order. If you receive my link, do your order. If you don't have the money now, it will come. I won't wait for eternity, but at least probably, let's say, I don't know, summer or something. So you get the link, you order. If you don't want to pay yet, don't do it. If you have the money, please, it helps the event rolling. But if you don't, you just accept that and say, just do bank transfer. And then probably I will start nagging you in a few months and saying, hey, you need to pay up. And if you then don't, then I can always sell your room onwards. But at least you had the opportunity to, to be the first to be here again. Because, yeah, you are awesome. And I really would like to see you back. So that's, that's how it is. <laughs> it says 25 of many. As I said, I didn't make my slides. So I'll just keep going. And when I see these <laughs> keywords, no, no, we're almost there, I think. But this is really important. My big hero, Ken Block, spoke to you and asked you to not be an asshole, and you didn't. So I'm so glad for that. And thank you so much for being excellent to each other. <laughs> and you are now one of the first to hear when the next event will be. It will be 9 to 11 of February. That is a special date because, as it seems now, and I will have it confirmed by the hotel, that will mean that we have full access to all the rooms on the Friday, like this year. But this year we didn't really make use of it, which is also a new thing I learned from this. Um, because we didn't talk about it last year, the last time, sorry, 2020, the Dutch tax authority, the, yeah, the kind of ram down the doors and uh, charge you uh, people, they have trainings in this hotel as well. And then um, they were still using some rooms and I was under the impression that it was the same this year. So now I have confirmation that they are not in on the Friday. So we will do some workshop on the Friday as well. And that will hopefully address my friend Bart's question, which he sent on a postcard. And he said, more days of Hacker Hotel, four or five. You already have the opportunity to come in on the Thursday and you can leave on the Monday. That's already there. But I will also make sure that we have a interesting program 
on the Friday already. So you can maybe do some lock picking workshops, impressioning workshops, electronics workshops, maybe the bleach of Moom, the creative workshops, making resin, or maybe a new workshop she comes up. I hope she comes back because she does great workshops. But at least then there is something to do on the uh, on the Friday afternoon already. So and if you have the extras, you can come in on a, on a Thursday already. Maybe help out or not. Just relax and then the next Friday morning you go to the breakfast and then you go straight on to the event. So we're extending it in some way then. And then I would like to close up that I cannot do this alone and every every time I get better better in this. I had a great conversation with some people of Schuberg and, and Chantal and, and saying okay uh, what what's different now. And I think it's only fair to say that Chantal and Mendel are people that if you ask them something, they will make sure it happens. And when you know that, when you did it once or twice, and that happens, that you think, okay, they can take care of shit, they can take care of business, they will take stuff out of my hands, then you trust them. And trust is really something in our community which is important, but also when you organize an event like this. I don't want to ruin it, I want to give you the best uh, experience possible and if you then have people that help you and you see hey I can let go then it helps so they help grow me but also grow the event Are you more relaxed? I'm way more relaxed <laughs> and I'm not even tired this gives me so much energy I'm so psyched up sorry and, and I have an audible voice thanks for the compliment <laughs> yes <laughs> so thanks for some tall and Mendel And now I promise, and now I promise we're really there. It's not, of course, only Doosty people, but I really want to lift them out, but people from Schuberg, people from other companies that came out, all the people that came out from England on a Thursday helping out, uh, the people that helped with the AV, Marout that helped us out, everyone that helped uh, Friday during check-ins or will help us tear down the stuff. Um, I would like to ask all those volunteers because then you can clap for the people that really deserve it. I want to have them here and I want to do a fun experiment. So if the people that uh, helped out on the first days building up or will be there for the teardown, come forward. And especially the ones with the Hacker Hotel hoodie new style. I need at least a three or four people here in front with me. So I will do this not only with a little help of my friends, but I will also do this with a little help of my connected friends. So I have some connection blocks because people say, do these cables really work? We have uh, Arjan here with his uh, analyzer, so I want to hook up. Uh, here's Tom. So give it up for Tom, people. This is Tom. Tom is wearing, Tom is wearing, uh, Tom is wearing an, uh, an analyzer, network analyzer. I thought it was like, okay, plug in one, we test, plug in two and test, but the test takes a little longer because it's a very high-tech uh, analyzer. So what we'll do, I first ask uh, Chantal and Mendel to join me because that's free. <laughs> Mendel, uh, so three was already done, so I will try four and we'll see if we can have four together. I'm not sure if it's working. I kept hanging on those cables, but we did three, but then it's not only with a little help of my friends, but also my connected friends. And then, so if we have one more, Oh, you already do plugging it there. Oh, oh no, let's try it. Let's, let's try if the whole free was working. I'm not sure if all these connection block work, but let's try. <laughs> Seriously, we didn't test it. Sorry for this. Oh, oh, oh. yes, where do I go? Yes, I come back. <laughs> Tell me what you <laughs> Sorry for this. Yes, we have the testing. The Terminator. Terminator. That needs to be on Chantal's court. So I'm not sure. It takes a little while. Um, this is crazy. We, need to, we didn't test it, but let's go. So we're testing it. I'm not sure if it's working. <laughs> I'm not sure where the display is. Yes, we have connection. So. Thanks to uh, Stefan, he's here. Network Winkle, if you ever need these cables for your home, go to networkwinkle.com and he will sort you out with the best possible cables. You saw this 10, 20 connection blocks, I don't know how much. So give it up, please. These people are the real stars. There you go. Thank you so much. So thank you for all your help, all your 
muscle power, brain power, and everything else. So thank you so much. These guys really, and ladies, these people, sorry, these people really made this happen. So give it up one more time for this crew. Thank you so much. <laughs> so thank you. Really, really honored to that you still show up and help me with these crazy requests. But we couldn't do it without you. Yes. Mimi. Oh, that's nice. Thank you. Thank you. Wow. Thank you. Wow. It's fucking amazing. Thank you. Well, like in theater, we all bow together. Three, two, one. Okay, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. High five, high five, high five. Okay. Sorry? We're going to close it down now, the last part of the ceremony. We have been on the Hackerspace Hotel map. Now I'm lying because I didn't check it, so I was too busy. But it was open, so it is, it is open now. So this is done by Tede Venlo, the Hackerspace in the south of the Netherlands. So if you live in Belgium, you can sometimes visit them. It's really nice of Bart. <laughs> Bart? Okay. So TD Venlo made this awesome uh, button, and we will now shut down and close down on Hacker Hotel. After that, I invite you to have a drink in the bar if you like. Check out your room before seven. And um, if you're not helping, it's okay. But, but grab then a chair. 80 people, please grab a black chair and bring it to the hack room, all the way on the other side. Sorry, I know it's a lot to ask, but if you can do that, you save us three hours of uh, dragging the chairs. One but question. yes. What's the washing recommendation for the hoodie with the line cable? Don't. It's for. Oh, that's no. Well, actually, funny question. Good one. Please wash your hoodies inside out. So do them the other way around, zip them up from the inside, put the cables on the inside, that won't damage your machine then, and then you will have the longest, uh, you will enjoy your hoodie for the longest. So turn it inside out, zip it up, throw it in the washer, and 40 degrees max, probably better, 30. Then at least I can say I have all encouraged you to be a more sustainable person. So, <laughs> and then now, this is uh, Eric, he's the, the chairman of the TD Venlo Hackerspace and a friend for a long time, and they also have an awesome laser cutter. So now, we are gonna close down the event. So if you all count down from three, then I will close it down. 42! <laughs> 42, 41, 40, no. Okay, let's start by three. So three. Three, two, one. So now, thank you so much. Have safe travel back home. And uh, again, please, 80 people, uh, there's, um, there's uh, Arjan over there counting at the door, letting 80 people out with a chair, and then go to the, to, the ha to the hack room on the other side. Thank you so much. Safe travels. See you next year. Bye.